So here is a question of Tyson polygon method to find out the mean depth of rainfall. So it is given that the a catchment area is given that is 25 kilometer by 25 kilometer. So it has five rain gauges, uh, one at each corner and one at the center. So like you see in the figure G1, G2, G3, G, G3, G4, G5 and it is a basically it is a square area having 25 kilometer width and depth. Precipitation of these gauges are given as G1 300. So let's the G1 corresponding precipitation that is taken as 300 mm and G2 285 mm and G3 272 mm and G4 290 G5 288 mm. So the question is about the average precipitation in mm that is important over the catchment over the catchment during the month by using Tyson polygon method so so here it is a direct question and you have to know only that Tyson polygon method and here we will deal with that Tyson polygon method how to solve this problem so in, in this question I'd like to answer it is Tyson polygon method. Tyson polygon method. So here you have to draw that area again. So this is your area. Basically a square area. Here G1, G2, G3 and G4. So, what we do in Tyson polygon method? The important step is that we will connect all the rain gauges as it is connected G1, G2. It is given, it is already, we can take it as connected G1 to G2, G1 to G4, G2, G3 and G4, G3, G4. Again, G1. Uh, G1 to G here one more thing G5 G1 to G5 so we will connect each so we will connect G1 to G5 this is the first step step 1 connecting rain gauges likewise you can connect so disconnected so now the second step is to step to draw bisector how to draw that bisector for each of the connection you have to draw the bisector so for g1 and g4 this is the perpendicular bisector and for g2 and g3 also this is the perpendicular bisector and let's draw with another color so this is the bisector here also for G1, G2 and G4, G4. So the bisector. So now we have to draw the bisector for this G1, G5 so that it is you can by looking at this is a tricky part of the question. Okay. And uh, this can be done easily or if it is another uh, very complicated shape, you cannot do it in within minutes. Okay. So this is the tricky part. You can draw like this. This is the bisector. Here is the bisector for this G1, G5. For G2, G5. So this is the bisector. On G4, G5. Also for. 
so this is the bisector now we have drawn the bisector and next step is that for g1 the corresponding area is this is the corresponding area so when we take this area we have to take the value of g1 for the calculation of the uh, mean rainfall depth for g2 also this is the connected area g4 for g3 so by looking at this you can see that all these areas are equal and let's take it as a1 so this is also a1 a1 this is also a1 and this is also a1 and this is the connected area for g5 the connected area is very large area that is this is for g5 in the g5 let's take it as a2 now the equation is the average precipitation that is g is equal to g1 a1 plus g2 a2 up to gn an divided by total area where a is equal to a1 plus a2 up to an But here n is equal to 5. You have n 5 number of rain gauges and also a1 is equal to you can take it as a1 and related to g1. a2 is equal to again you can see that as a1 that is this a1. This a1 is a2 likewise a1 a2 is equal to a1 again and a3 is equal to a1 a4 also is equal to a1 but a5 you can see a5 is equal to a2 that is this portion this portion is taken as the corresponding area for the fifth rain gauge that is g5 okay so we will calculate it as g is equal to g1 a1 plus g2 into a1 a2 actually a2 but you can take it as a1 plus g3 a1 plus g4 a1 plus g5 into a2 divided by total area that is then now you have to calculate what is that a1 a1 is equal to how to calculate that a1 this is your square oh this is your shape okay so it is this square is divided into eight equal part and this is a1 so this a1 is equal to total area divided by eight that is total area is equal to 25 into 25 kilometer square divided by eight you will get it as 78.125 kilometer square so 78.125 125 kilometer square now 
that a2 is equal to you can see it as this this is a2 what is that a2 is what a2 is equal to 1 a1 here also a1 here also a1 here also a1 that is 4 a1 you can see it as 4 a1 this value you will get it as Three one two point five kilometer square. So book the value of this a one and a two in this equation. That is g one. You can take a one as common and outside seventy eight point one two five into seventy eight one two five into three hundred. That is g one plus two eighty five plus two. You can take it as in m. Okay, because this has the same unit and in the denominator part you will get kilometer square so this will cancel out and you will get it in mm only okay so no unit conversion is needed 272 plus 290 this plus a2 that is or g5 into a2 what is g5 g5 is equal to 288 into 31 312.5 the whole divided by 25 into 25 so you will get it the value as 287.375 mm so this is the final answer for G so point to note here is how to bisect how to bisect that uh, rain gauges that is important and the problem is a very direct question and 